Hey, what's up everybody? Nitreg here from Nitreg.com, and this is day two of the 31 day poker challenge. Uh, today we're going to be talking about which sites should you play on. Um, and that really comes down to one thing, and that's maximizing our EV, uh, and also our preference too, I guess. But ultimately we want to maximize our expected value. Um, so we want to maximize how much money we get, how much, uh, you know, how much we like the sites, I guess. Um, and, and that's pretty much what we're looking for in terms of looking at sites. So there's a lot of good sites out there and some, some little things come down to preference and, uh, you know, where you're at with your, your, with your poker goals. So let's go ahead and get into this. Um, you, there's two ways of choosing which site, uh, type of site you want to play at. You can either one, play on high traffic sites and get high volume at a lower win rate, or two, you can play on low traffic sites and get uh, low volume with a high win rate. Um, so obviously if you play at a really high traffic site, it's usually because there's lots of promotions and bonuses and it just really gets a lot of people excited to come and it, uh, it benefits grinders to sit there and grind out long sessions. You know, they'll get lots of rake back and stuff. An example of this would be a site like PokerStars. Um, typically, you're going to have a de you know a decent win rate, but it's not going to be as high as some of the smaller sites uh, because there's a lot more regs that you're playing against. Uh, that being said, since it is a huge site, there's going to be a lot of fish coming to it. Um, but your win rate is not going to be as high. So in general, you're going to want to be, you know, it, like if you're on PokerStars, you want to want to play like Zoom Poker and get thousands of hands in or you know, you could 24 table normal tables or, you know, just play a very high volume of hands at a lower win rate. Um, and then another, you know, another sites, other sites, uh, will have lower traffic, um, but you'll have a higher win rate. So, um, it's a site like that might be a site like Betfair or something. Um, you know, they'll have lower traffic, but there'll be much more fish on the site. Uh, so, you know, you'll fo hopefully focus less on, you know, bonuses, rake back, and getting a high volume, and focus more on just actually crushing the games and, you know, four table and your six table and uh, trying to maximize your win rate. So there's a couple of other important things to remember. Um, you want to also consider what bonuses you're going to get on the site. I also want to consider the cash out and deposit options and how fast they are. If you're if you're not in America, you don't really have to worry about that, but in, in the U.S., it's a pretty huge thing. Uh, you want to obviously care about how good the software is, um, and good is kind of a relative term. Like, for instance, people really love Full Tilt Poker software, and I don't really like it that much. Um, so that's kind of why I played on Poker Stars rather than uh, Full Tilt. But that's just a preference thing for me. Uh, and then you also want to know how reputable the site is, and that never used to really be that big of a problem. There were some issues back in the day with like Ultimate Bet and some other smaller sites, but um, today, you know, it's basically Poker Stars, and you know, Full Tilt was a big one that lost a lot of its reputation, but then Poker Stars bought it out, and Poker Stars is incredibly reputable. Uh, if you're in America, you know, you're pretty screwed because all all the sites are gonna have. Um, not really a bad reputation, but you know you're not going to really trust them a hundred percent. But that's any site that's facing the U.S. Just because uh, you know they're in kind of that legal gray area, and you know at any time um, you know another Black Friday sort of uh, scenario can happen, and it's kind of out of your control. So uh, anyway, let me go ahead and tell you which sites there are and kind of my opinions on them real quick. Um, I don't want to do like an in-depth review on each on each uh, site, but I kind of want to just touch on the basics of each site and kind of give you guys uh, just some ideas to think about. Um, the first site is Lock Poker, and that happens to be the the site that I'm playing on right here. Um, Lock Poker, I think, has decent software. Uh, it, it's pretty good software. I, I I it took some getting used to, but I actually kind of like it now. Um, let me go ahead and raise here real quick. Gonna do a little semi bluffing. Um, oh yeah, so so um, oh, I get cold called. Uh, yeah, they got decent software. Obviously, they have HUD support, as you can see. Um, great thirty six percent rake back. They've got good promos going on. 
uh, they've got decent traffic. Uh, you know, it's pretty good traffic. Like I actually moved here because, well, now I gotta fold. Uh, you know, I actually moved here from uh, Black Chip Poker on the merge network when they were on the merge network uh, because the traffic was a lot better here. And um, there's actually quite a bit of fish, like uh, playing 15 L right now, and seems to be a couple of fish on the table. It seems to be a good chunk of the uh, table at 15 L. Um, you know, the cash outs have really been a problem lately. Uh, you know, Western Union is, um, I haven't withdrawn via Western Union yet, but I had a friend that did it, um, about two or three months ago, and he said he got it in about, um, I don't know, 10 days, two weeks, something like that, uh, and it, it was pretty pain-free, um, I've heard that checks, though, take two plus months to get, which is pretty ridiculous, but Western Union is a great option if you're playing on lock, the only thing is, you can only withdraw two thousand dollars a month, and uh, w w without having a fee, you can withdraw more than that. But then they'll take ten percent uh, of that money as a fee. So you kind of want to limit yourself to two thousand dollars a month, which is not really that big of a problem for most people. But it you know you can't really like grind that hard um, at, at, at you know, US facing sites. Like, if you're going to be making over two grand a month, you should probably move to Canada or something. Um, so, the next site is Black Chip Poker. And Black Chip Poker just recently moved over to the Winning Poker Network, WPN. Um, they have rake back up to 66% if you include all their, like, little bonuses and stuff. Uh, they don't really have HUD support yet, but as of the time of this video in their forums, they said it's going to come out within, like, one to three weeks and working really closely with the with the software providers, so I would look out for that in the next few weeks. I, I think that's going to be a very good option. Um, they have very low traffic, though, and their software really sucks, in my opinion. You guys might like it. Uh, there's There are lots of fish at the site. Like, oh my gosh, the tables are so amazing. Um, but, you know, you, it's like typical U.S. sites. you got to wait a few weeks for, for your payment. Um, and that's just... It sucks to be in the U.S., but that's just super standard. Um, that's what you're going to get with online poker these days, at least for the time being. Um, and then the last site for the for the U.S. that I would recommend is Bovada. Uh, Bovada used to be Bodog Poker. Um, Bovada is interesting because they're not really like a poker room. They're more of like a online casino. So they kind of cater to just gamblers in general, and they really hate you know poker grinders. For some reason, um, so they kind of their whole business model is to encourage people to just have fun and gamble it up. Uh, so to do that, they they do stuff like anonymous tables, so you have no idea who you're playing against, which is kind of annoying and weird. So um, obviously, I mean, you can take notes of people at the table, but oh, I don't know why that's doing that. Uh, you can take notes of people at the table, but it's not going to save itself for the next time you see that person. Um, so you have no idea who you're playing. And no one knows who you are, too. I guess that's... Um, I guess that's fair. Um, but obviously, then there's going to be no HUD support since you don't know who anyone is. Um, another thing is they have no rake back, which really sucks. Um, but the good thing is that they have tons of fish. Uh, but, um, you know, you can only play, like, four tables at a time, which kind of sucks. And there's a little bit of low traffic, so I don't know. The traffic's definitely higher than Black Chip Poker, though, and it's pretty good. When I've looked at it, you know, you can always get, you can almost always get four tables going of whatever limits up to probably mid stakes. Um, and I would say that the cash outs are probably the most reliable. I got a cash out from them a few months ago, and it it, it came pretty fast. And uh, I kind of looked on two plus two, and it looks like. They're coming in about two or three weeks right now, so I, I think it's a pretty good option um, if you can get used to the very tilting features of not knowing who you're playing against. So uh, I would definitely check that out if you want to focus on reliability and guaranteed cash outs. Um, for the rest of the world players, anyone that's not in the U.S., it's the hands down best site is PokerStars and Full Tilt, uh, which is owned by PokerStars. 
uh, it's not even close. They're the best site. They've got the most traffic. They're the most reliable. They've got decent amounts of fish. They've got good rig back and promos. Great selection of games. Super fast payouts. There's like nothing you can say bad about them. You know, obviously HUD supports, the, uh, you know, like hold the manager, your poker tracker, all that. You can, uh, you can get HUDs for them. Um, the software is just really nice. Uh, I, I prefer Poker Stars, but some people prefer Full Tilt. Whichever one you like, you can play on that one. Um, they have Rush Poker and Zoom Poker, which allows you to play literally thousands of hands an hour, uh, which is pretty insane. But it's very fun and it's very popular. Um, I highly recommend it. But if you want to go to some of the smaller you know, European sites or sites that I guess Canadians and some other countries can play on, um, you, you, you can check those out too. Um, I'm not really sure what those sites are like since I'm in the US and I can't really test them out. Um, but I think they're okay if you want to just check a couple of the reputable ones out. You might want to check 2 plus 2 and see which ones have a good reputation of um, you know, having decent cash outs and decent traffic and stuff like that. Uh, w the one that I would recommend or I've heard recommended is Betfair. Uh, that seems like a pretty good site. Uh, but again, I haven't played that, so play at your own, at your own risk. But um, all these other sites I've played at and I can approve. Um, so if you want to get the maximum amount of bonuses and, and rake back, uh, go ahead and follow the links. Um, I'll put the links down in the description and I'll put them on uh, the, this post here um, on my website. But if you're just watching this video, um, for lock poker, you can go to knitreg.com slash lock and you can get your 36% rake back, which is the maximum you can get, and you know all those bonuses and everything. Um, Black Ship Poker is knitreg.com slash BCP. Again, you get maximum rake back and everything with that. Um, and for Bovada, just go to knitreg.com slash Bovada. Obviously, they don't have rake back for anyone. <laughs> um, they hate grinders. Uh, not my fault, don't blame me. But hit, go to knitreg.com slash Bovada if you want to check out their software. Uh, for the rest of the world, um, you guys want to check out knitreg.com slash stars to, to uh, play on poker stars and knitreg.com slash FTP to play in full tip poker. Alright guys, well, um, hopefully I'll see you guys tomorrow, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Peace.